pee, I swear to God, if you pee on my tripod, I will kick you in the throat. What is up, guys? Jake here, coming back at you with another video. Oh, I need glasses. A few moments later. Alright, better. I got my glasses. Only wasted six minutes of footage on my camera. Today, I'm going to be doing a video on best shoes to wear during the spring. But I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing a uh, fuck. As I said, I'm going to be doing a video on best shoes to wear during the spring and summer, or what I'm going to be wearing, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Kobe did this video a while ago. Actually, not a while ago. I think it was, like, two weeks ago. So most of you know Kobe. If you don't, he's a freaking ginger swine. So, before we get into that, first we gotta set a like goal and tell you to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that's all I ever do. All I ever do is advertise for myself. What I was gonna say, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JakeHKicks. Instagram, not so much, even though that's where most of you follow me. Twitter, that's where I post everything, like, uh, say stuff like if I'm going to be doing a new video or a new series, that's where I announce it. So, uh, other than that, let's see if we can get 200 likes just because it's not an, like an unboxing or a pickup or anything it's just like filler piece until i get something and actually i just ordered a shoe so there will be an unboxing later this weekend not weekend not weekend not weekend we, they haven't even shipped yet so yeah uh <clears throat> so how this video is going to go down i have one two three four five six Seven. Seven pairs of kicks that I'm going to be showcasing. I'm going to put them into categories and show you on foot and just talk about why they're good for summer and spring. Let's get right into it. So the first category we have right here is the white man special, what I like to call it. So pretty much boat shoes. Um, these are good for spring and summer just because like, you can wear them with everything, but the only thing you can't really wear them with is pants. So like... You can just throw these shoes on with a pair of shorts, and not you don't even need socks or anything for them. So, wind! Alright, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, these are the White Man Special, the Sperry's or whatever brand I have of these. The boat shoes, I'm actually looking to pick up another pair, but these are good because you can just wear them with anything. You don't really need uh, even an outfit for these. You can just put on a button up that I'm wearing or a pair of shorts and you're done for wearing these. So that's those. So the next category is fly knits and that's the one that I have the most in. And that's probably what I'm going to wear the most this whole season of summer and spring. So let me pull those cheeky bad boys out. Alright, so the first pair of fly knits we have right here is the uh, fly knit chaka in this orange. And I think that's another orange or a yellow color, but I don't know. So we have these orange and yellowish uh, flying at Chuckos. Uh, these are going to be good just because they're a bright color. You know, you can always wear bright colors in the spring and summer. They're also going to be good because they look like Poseidon's butthole. Nigga, who the fuck are you? Whoa, that was weird. Anyway, the, yeah. <coughs> these are going to be good because, um, fuck, why are these good? Oh, they're going to be good for, like, running around too because they're, like, mad light. It's mad good. <laughs> it's mad good. Uh. Yeah, so, also, what, anything else about them? Mad, like, they're crazy light, they're, uh, breathable, um, bright, disgustingly ugly. The next pair of fly knits in this category is the multicolor fly knit hex zoom things. Uh, I'm gonna wear these a lot, of course, because they're bright, they're light, they're really breathable just like the other fly knits um they i don't know they're just like really good for spring because like all of the colors fucking i'm gonna be wearing these on easter be chewing down some yo all right just wondering i don't know where because this is probably going around up around easter um do you guys feel bad when you eat the easter bunny's head Cho like those chocolates when you eat those easter bunny chocolates do you feel bad eating it? Like, that. The bunny is a life, too. Boo, you suck! Um, anyway, yeah. Lots of pinks. Pinks. <laughs> lots of pinks. Oh my god, now I'm saying. It. Lots of pinks and greens on these, so, you know, you can be wearing these. <coughs> and the last pair is another pair of fly knits, of course, because this is the fly knit category. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? It's the multicolor fly knit. Um, what are these things? Fly knit trainer. Shout out to Pizzo. Uh, uh, yeah. So, of course, 
Lots of pinks and blues, so they're gonna be good. Uh, that's it. The next category is the white. I think you can bust out a lot of white shoes during the summer, as long as it's too uh, a clean area. You know, you don't want to mess up your shoes. But you, like, you wouldn't want to wear all your white shoes in the winter because like all the salt and first part of our white collection is actually the only part of the white collection because I didn't want to grab my uh, Columbia's is the Aunt Pearl KD7. Uh, these are gonna be these. These you these are lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and gonna be good for uh, the summer and spring. Cause they're white, they're like they're really bright. And uh, you know that's really it. <laughs> that's that's kind of it. To me these are the, some of the most uncomfortable kicks I've had and I uh, what, what, these are some of the most uncomfortable kicks in my collection. I don't know, KD7s are just kind of, eh, I don't know, comfort. Alright, so the second to last category, category, corduroy, is the Nike Roshi Runs, because they're, they're just light and breathable, just like the Fly Nights, I kind of could have just incorporated them into the same thing as just, eh, I could have just put those in the same category and said breathable stuffs. But yeah, breathable, light, and this pair, specifically the uh, Calypsos, these ones are best because uh, they're mad, like, they're really bright, but I don't know. I'm actually going to buy some laces unless somebody wants to be a lad and send out some laces to me at Lace Avenue. Um, I want to put some pink laces in these, shout out to the South Beach, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, that that's what I used to have. Wind, shut up. Yo, bro, God hates me. God does not like me. What the fuck? What's up? Oh my God, bro. Um. Anyway, so these cheeky buggers right here. The Nike. I swear to God, if the wind does not stop, I'm gonna throw this shoe at a cloud. Now the last one that I don't think anyone else is. I don't know some. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone else is calling these some good, like thinking of these as a really good uh, summer and spring shoe, but I think this specific brand in general is going to be really good during spring and summer. <clears throat> this category is called the Sauconies. Um, I don't know. Sauconies just seems like they're doing big stuff this year and they're making a lot of nice bright colorways and the runners are like the best things for spring and summer. It was spring and summer. So right here I have the Saucony Grid 9000 in the uh, mint colorway. Unfortunately, these are the only Saucony's I own, but definitely I'm going to be wearing these cheeky scrubbers in the uh, spring and summer. Uh, the I don't know, they're just mad like they're mad good. They're mad good. Mad good, Jamie. Um, so yeah, they're really bright. Uh, I'm not really good at this review kind of stuff. 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 <laughs> she has it in there. Um, yeah, so I'm not really good at this reviewing stuff, so pretty much all it is is bright and they're pretty comfortable once you wear them for a little bit. Actually, once you put them on for the first time, they're comfortable too, but once you break these things in, like you can see all this midsole creasing probably on the on foot right now, if I'm having that up right now, but if not here, there's a bunch of midsole creasing right here, but um, yeah, it, it pops. I'm gonna be wearing this. I have a, a button up in the same exact color. You know, just a pair of high socks and the button up, and that'll be a crazy fit. Not a crazy fit, but a good fit for the summer. So, uh, yeah. That was it for this video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all of that cheeky little bugger stuff. Uh, there will be an unboxing next week, probably, or something else. I don't know what I have in store for this, but yeah, that's really it. So make sure to like the video, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JakeHKicks. My eyes have been shut in half of this video. Holy shit. But yeah, that's it, guys. Deuces.